Greetings, friends, family, sales savages, upper management, and um, not marketing. Welcome to the Corporate Bro Pilota. <laughs> that means pilot for those of you at home who don't hablo espanol like I do. Now, I'm going to keep this brief because I know you do not enjoy listening to stupid noises come out of my dumb face hole. But I want to first say thank you to everybody who helped make this project possible. I'm talking about my team, I'm talking about friends, family, and those of you who contributed on the Kickstarter. We literally could not have afforded it without you. Now, our original plan with this whole thing was to do a big launch event in person. We were going to do it at, at like a place called Emporium, which was going to be sick with beer, and red carpet, and photo booths, and all that shit. We are going to charge for tickets. But, you know, the apocalypse happened, so what are you going to do? All right? Sales are dope. Now, our hope with this is that we can drum up enough interest to finance a whole season. And to do that, we need people like you to help us out. And the way you do that is not by giving us your money. It's actually by pressing that little red button right, right down there, the one that says subscribe. I'll wait. Go ahead. Press it right now. Thank you for doing that. That's all you got to do to help us drum up interest. You can, of course, you can share this. Obviously, watching it is great, and I'd greatly appreciate it. But uh, that's really it, folks. And so again, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I wish we were coming together on less precarious times, but alas, here we are. So let's fight tragedy with comedy. Without further ado, folks, ladies and gentlemen, the Corporate Bro Pilot. Hello, I am here for a, an interview. Who are you here to interview with? I believe his name is Kevin. All right, I'll let his assistant know you're here. Beautiful, thank you. Sit. Hi, Jamal. I have someone here to interview with Kevin. I don't know. He kind of looks like a disfigured Nick Kroll. Sir, what's your name? Chris Brody. It's Chris Brody. Okay, I'll let him know. He'll come get you when he's ready. Beautiful. Um, actually, do you have a bathroom nearby? Coffee not good enough these days? Bathroom is down the hall to your right. Okay, great. Thank you. Got this shit right, Dwayne? Goddamn right we do. <laughs> yes, I know we need this, Dwayne. Why would you even say that? Everything okay out here? Yeah, sorry, I'm uh, interviewing for a sales position here in a few minutes. So yeah. I'm just getting ready. Nice suit, nerd. Oh, you must be Chris. I'm Kevin, I'm interviewing you. Yeah, how'd you know? Well, somebody said you sort of look like a mangled Andy Samberg and I just figured since, well, you know, your face. Anyways, I shake your hand, but I, uh, I literally just wipe my ass, and the TP here is single ply if you catch me drift. Oh, dude. Uh, you're kind of a freak, man. How about a hug? Alpha step, omega step, kappa step, sigma step, gangsters walk. Pimps gon' talk, ooh, heck you know, that boy is raw. AKA Step, Delta Step, SG Roll Step, Zeta Step, Gangsters Walk. Pimps gon' talk, ooh, heck you know, that boy is raw. Alright, alright. Two quick things, my man. Number one, your facial hair looks incredible. <laughs> How about you? Number two, Reg Rezzi, super impressive. One question, why'd you leave your old sales gig? Ah, honestly, it just wasn't a great culture fit. Chris, I see a $37,000 charge for a place called Tig Old Biddies. Boss man, it's called Client Entertainment. Besides, they have a tremendous lunch buffet. How do you think I even closed the Draco deal? But you can't expense titties. Except I just did. You're fired.
<laughs> Are you shitting me? Hmm. Okay. Uh, I also see this five month gap here. Talk to me about that. Yeah, as you know, there was a small recession. Jobs market was terrible. Uh, if I'm being fully transparent, I was going through some personal stuff. Bitches, man. No, no, no. It was, it was really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I hire you, what's your 90 day plan? Well, I've already researched your product, put together a list of 40 potential clients. Naturally, I'd spend my first couple weeks learning, prospecting, building the sales pipeline. Christopher, I like it. What about pressure, though? This is sales after all. Hit numbers or die. Well, I actually love pressure, but I'm curious. I know what you're thinking. What's in it for you? I got three words for you, my man. Equity. Oops. But how much, right? Come here. Come here. Yeah. Come here. 100 shares. <laughs> Never owned a company before. Right? Is that a lot? No, but we got perks. Wellness rooms, catered lunch, enough fizzy water to give you cancer. Talking work-life balance 100, my man. Sounds pretty dope. Right? Mm -hmm. um, listen, I know the base pay is not going to be what you're used to, but with your potential, you'll be making six figs easy, bro. Let's hit those numbers. Come on, man. I can do that. I know you can. Touch my hand, brother. It's clean this time. Does this mean I got the job? It certainly does. Of course, you know, we'd hire anybody with a pulse right now, especially after the scandal. Yeah, I read the papers. Did you? Yeah. Is it funny? It's funny? <laughs> yeah, it's really, it's not funny. We all make mistakes, don't we, Chris? Yeah. Lucky for you, I happen to be a fan of Tiggle Bitty's Brunch. Yeah, you heard about that? I did. Five dollars all you can eat, am I right? Anyways, I'm gonna send you an email with some basic paperwork and I need you to fill it out. Oh, one more thing. I'm gonna need a list of all of your previous sexual partners. Are you serious? No, Chris! <laughs> Loosen up, man! You just got a job! I did, because like, you did. all of a sudden it feels like it. You did. did. So we're gonna see you 7.30 a.m. Monday sharp. Your manager's gonna be Paul Fister. Welcome to the meat pack, brother. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Do it. Ooh, 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 ooh! More neck, more neck. <laughs> ooh, 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 yeah, 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 forget about it. We'll, we'll work on it. Okay, I'll practice. Okay. Thank you. Close the door, please. It just happened. Close the door, please. Okay. Okay. Hi, Mom. Hi, Chrissy. First day of work for my little bubba. How you feeling? <clears throat> I feel good, Mom. Ready to slang. I just heard a throat tickle. Are you sick? No, Mom. I'm fine. Because I've been hearing about this infection going around. Deborah's son Peter got it. Apparently, it enters through your rectum. Yeah, no, Mom, I'm good, okay? Just a little first day pregame jitters is all. You're gonna do great, sweetie. And if it doesn't work out, you can move back in with me and your father. We'd only charge you a couple chuckles, but it could be fun. I don't know. Yeah, absolutely not. I'm 30 years old. You're broke. Yeah, well, not for long, Mom, okay? I found the only company left that's willing to give me a shot, so... Well, they're lucky to have you. But maybe, you know, go easy on the tits for a while. <sighs> I know, Mom, okay? I gotta run, though. I'm pulling up to the office. Okay, good luck, sweetie. Okay. Make sure you use the seat cover if you plan to defecate. Yes, I will, okay? Love you. Love you, too. Okay, bye. Bye. Great. Since we're all here, we can start. Really excited to welcome two new members to the team who we'll get to in just a second. But first, happy Monday, everybody. Yay. Happy Monday. Uh, so, Katie, how are we doing? Do we have the qualification notes ready to go for the Ameritech meeting? You know it. Got them from Raj this morning. They're on your desk. That's why you were number one last quarter. I'm number one every quarter. How could we forget? Yeah. So, as most of you already know, last year was not great, both in terms of the numbers and in terms of our scandal. <clears throat> that being said, quota is still going up this year. What? Who raises numbers after a company miss? <sighs> I know, I know. Trust me, I'm just as upset about it as you guys are. But I'm fighting for you. Bottom line, this year is do or die. You say that every year, Finster. In fact, he says that every quarter. I know, but we just raised $50 million. Now we have investors to answer to. And now we gotta hit stupid high numbers. Not to mention, we probably drop hiring standards because nobody wanna work at this weak-ass place. 
Well, uh, I suppose that's a good segue. Guys, uh, how about a quick intro? Chris, let's start with you. All right. Uh, so everybody, I'm Chris. I'm from the ATL, which you know naturally means I know a bunch of rappers. Not really, I actually just saw Ludacris in a grocery store once. Uh, but I just got done with a five-year stint at Oracle, where I did enterprise sales and naturally led the team in closed revenue. But yet, here you are at this beacon of startup bliss. Well, yeah, it's a, it's a long story. Um, but fun fact, in college, I was a pitcher, but of course, you know, I uh, dropped bombs as well. Cool, uh, you, you played D1? It was D3. Uh, but y'all should check under your desks. Got y'all a little gift called a token of my appreciation. What do you see, Marisabelle? What is bonies? It's a bone broth bar, duh. Buy three femurs and get one free bone broth shot? Oh, Yo, nasty. My man got E. coli from bonies. Yo, didn't the owner go to jail for like roofing that girl's That's bone bone shake? Oh, oh, yeah. 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 What? what? Guys, guys, let's settle down. Let's give Travis a chance to introduce himself. What's up, guys? I'm Travis, I'm Team Money. I'm from San Diego, where I was in uh, ticket sales for the Padres. I was number one for three years in a row. And I moved up here really because I was just looking for a new challenge. Uh, so my fun fact, I played D1 basketball. Yeah, I averaged 11-9 my senior year. Nice. The scouts were really saying, you know, come to Europe because you're going to, you'll be a huge star. And I was like, guess what? The only stars I care about are the ones on our flag. I'm an American patriot, and that's why I'm yes. staying in the U.S. of A. Yeah, and then I got into sales. Pretty typical story, not. Um, okay, I actually, I got something else for you guys. Just like Chrissy Boy over wow. here. Of course he did. Yeah. Copycat right here. Holy shit, a free month to Larry's bucket? Yeah. These are worth like $400. <laughs> yeah, you can't get gains at Larry's. Oh my God. My wife has been begging me to go to Larry's ever since she said she wasn't attracted to my body anymore. How on earth did you pull this off, Travis? <laughs> I can't turn it off, boss man. <laughs> that sales charm just bleeds through the rest of my life, really. Did you, did you pay someone to draw these? No, like... I did not. I did it myself. I took a calligraphy class in college because a lot of people knew me as the biz brain basketball star, and I was like, I need to be more well-rounded, so. Hell yeah, team money. Yeah, yeah. Real talk, though, I do know the uh, founder's daughter. Spoiler alert, we smashed. All right, guys, let's get focused here. Travis, great gift. Chris, nice gesture. But team, I can't have anyone getting sick, so please, let's just shred those bone broth coupons, all right? Shifting gears here. Oh, uh, hey guys. Didn't know we had a, a meeting. Yeah, uh, must have forgot to add you to the calendar invite. That's cool, that's cool. Just, just introducing the two new guys, Chris and Travis. Guys, meet, um, Oh, uh, Ben. Been here for three years, so. What's up? Yeah. I'm going. Give me a moment. Okay. Uh, anyway, I need all hands on deck again. Ameritech will be on site this afternoon to sign the contract. Woo! This is huge. We really need to start this year off strong. Chris, Travis, you two should head upstairs to orientation. The rest of you, hit the phones. Meeting adjourned. Howdy ho, whoa, too much. Gotta rein it in, rein it in. <laughs> well, howdy ho there, gentlemen. You caught me practicing. <laughs> hey, the name's Andy, head of sales enablement and training. Travis. Chris. Well, you guys are a couple minutes early. Got ourselves a couple eager beavers. But let me just say, welcome to the next chapter of your illustrious careers. Thank you, appreciate it. Follow me. Today, I'll be your shepherd through the meadow of learning, your Sherpa up the mountain of disruption, and dare I say, your Denzel Washington to the pretty boy cop in the movie Training Day. You're not gonna make us take LSD like in Training Day, are you? Actually, it's PCP. Oh. <laughs> I'm kidding, right? I'm gonna teach you everything you need to know about machine-engineered automated technology, otherwise known as meat. And FYI, Nobody beats our meat. They come close. They try. They edge our meat. But nobody beats it. It's disgusting. That feels kind of gross. <laughs> All right, grab a seat, guys. We're just going to get started here in a couple minutes. I'm going to go psych myself up. Oh, Andy, uh, I've got this extra coupon for 
bone broth? You, you want it? No, absolutely not. You sure bony is pretty sick? It's I like said no. OK. All right. This is going to be fun, guys. Let's see those smiles. <laughs> oh, I am the meat. Be the meat. I got to take this. I'll be right back. Oh, one minute. Just one minute. I got to take this. I'll be, right, I'll be right back. I am the meat. Be the meat. Cook the meat. Cook the meat all the way through until it's well done. Come on, you got this, Andy. What, Mom? I'm sorry, I'm having a shit first day at work. Yeah, I bought the entire team gifts and they hated them. No, Mom, I can't do magic. My wand is in the shop. I told you that. Now, let me ask you something. You have a jewel, do you not? Yeah, obviously. Of course. <laughs> I already knew that. But one thing I couldn't possibly know, ladies and gentlemen, what flavor? <laughs> magic, magic, magic. Mango! Oh, 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 oh. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Cookies, Mom? Really? I mean, yeah, they probably have an oven that's a startup. <sighs> okay, I'll try. <sighs> yep, yeah, okay, Mom, no more calls at work, though. We have to work on creating meaningful separation. Therapist said so. Okay, I love, I love you, too. Bye. <sighs> Mom says hi. <sighs> yeah, that Andy's a real treat, isn't he? Dude's a freak. He tried to kiss me. He did. Man, you better count your blessings. He didn't make you learn a company song. What company song? It's more like a jingle, but some nerd from upstairs wrote it like three years ago. Mm. Shit was trash. <laughs> Plus, that same engineer got fired for inappropriately touching one of the office dogs. Guess that's why they call a man's best friend. With benefits, huh? Sammy, huh? T, give me some. Jesus Christ. I don't know why I said that. The sad part is some people defended him. Apparently the dog humped everything. They said it made the first move. Was that the scandal Fister was talking about at the meeting? That's another one. Like six months ago, all of our phones got hacked. Yep, leaked everything. Passwords, search history, nudes. I'm sorry, can we just talk about, who the hell does something like that to a dog? Probably the same kind of person that doesn't vaccinate their kids. Oh, I didn't realize it was a bad idea to pump kids full of mercury and formaldehyde. Oh my God. Geronimo, are your kids not vaccinated? No, they are not. Vaccinations are employed by the government to keep funding for pharma companies. I read this article on Facebook. Okay, yeah, I'm not gonna do the conspiracy thing right now. I'm gonna go rip my jewel before my next call. You know what? That's a good idea. I'm gonna roll with you. All right, while you guys go deep throat cancer, I'm gonna get ready for Ameritech. Oh. Someone's gotta get the team on board. Okay, Miss Golden Child about to strike again. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm, 20 minutes to one. Yo. You want to go haul at those marketing girls before the uh, meeting? Honestly, yes, I do. But I can't. I can't. I got to go run an errand before our meeting. All right, I'll see you in Fister's office at 1. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll see you there. Soon I will become king of this castle, thanks to you, Cookies. Be well. Hey, Chris, there you are. Ready to meet? Travis is already in my office. Indeed I am, liege. I shall accompany thee at once. Why are you talking like that? I don't know. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Yeah, never do that again. Fair enough. <clears throat> <sighs> so, how was training, fellas? It was, uh, something. Good. And he's great, isn't he? Well, Either way, that was just the beginning. Much to learn you have. Oh, that was a dope Yoda, my man. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we'll have you closing deals in no time. And if not, we'll just fire you. <laughs> Want to see your desks? Hell yeah. Excited I am. Chris, please stop doing voices. Okay, it's just like, how come you get to do them or whatever? Oh, Dad, you see the guy in the blue out there? Family. That's Raj. Not supposed to come home anytime I told you. Raj is your sales engineer, or SE as we call them. He's your technical counterpart. What do you mean? 
Oh, someone never worked with an SE before? No, because I don't rely on other people to do my work. We'll get used to it. Chris is right, Travis. Our product is highly technical. It's machine engineered automated technology. I know, Andy kept saying that, and I was like, I don't understand. Yeah, that's a shocker. That's because it's too complicated for our sales brains to comprehend. Raj spent 12 years as a software architect. Mm. He's the one who can explain the technology to our prospects. I told him to introduce himself to you guys. Come on. Well, I doubt I'm gonna need it, but okay. Probably will. I probably so, won't. I'm gonna I actually definitely venture won't. a guess that you will. So. Real quick, Travis, this will be your desk, and Chris, this one's yours. Okay. I'll let you guys get settled. The Ameritech folks just arrived. Wish me luck. Oh, and don't forget to complete your sexual harassment training. We had an incident with a dog a few years back. Don't let it be you. Everybody likes cookies, right, Dwayne? Hello, motherfucker. Christ, what's up? Are you Christopher? Yeah, Chris works. Chris, you look like a goddamn asshole in that suit. Never wear a suit unless it's for an in-person meeting. Understand? Where's Travis? You mean him? Travis. Yo. Come here, you pretty boy bitch. I'm gonna take that as a compliment, my friend. Listen, you both align to me. You two and Katie are the three I have from Team Fester. Come, walk. Chill if I bring my girt. Yes, yes, bring your girt. Yeah. Now let me explain some things to you. First, I do not like either of you. Now whether or not I hate you more than my fat piece of shit brother remains to be seen. Your brother sounds lovely. Please stop interrupting me, Chris. Sorry. Second, I've been the most successful sales engineer at this company. That means my reps close the most revenue. I expect you to do the same. You set up the calls, I explain the technology, and you close. Understand? If you're so important, then why aren't you in the meeting with Fister and Katie? That meeting is for contract signature only. If they need me, they'll text me and I'll go. Now, how big's your dick, Travis? <coughs> what? I said, how big's your cock, motherfucker? Okay, man, I'm hovering around like seven inches. No, it's nine inches. I don't need a bunch of small dick salesmen running around. I need you to execute BDE. Katie's dick is eight fucking inches. I need you to be nine. Chris, how long is your dong? <laughs> Come on, Raj. Nine inches of cold hard No, steel. no, no. You've got this wrong. It has to be somewhat believable, else people will see right through it. With somebody of your stature, size, and cultural background, I think 5.5 .5 inches is a good stretch. That's literally exactly how big it is. See, you're catching on now. I just, I don't understand why Travis's gets to be nine inches and mine has to be five and a half. Chris, Chris, Chris. Gods gave each of us different gifts. Yours just did not come in a physical sense. Perhaps Yeah, perhaps I got a really big It's 5.5 .5 inches, Chris. Fine. Good boy. Now, Travis, mm. you do not have a technology background, correct? Correct, but who cares? Yeah, but who cares? Everyone cares, Travis, everyone. Do you even know the technology requirements for machine engineered automated technology? I didn't think so. My services are being requested by Mr. Fister. I must go. It's an odd duck. Very odd. <laughs> Might even bring us out here. I don't know, probably to catch a glimpse of my Hebrew hammer. You would have showed it to him too. Why would I show him when he already guessed my exact dimensions, Travis? Because you're always seeking validation. You want someone to be like, no, you're, you're cool. Right? It's honestly very close to the truth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't want to talk about that right now, Travis. Much. It does, yeah. I mean, it's like a meal. Oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God. What's what going on? What is going on? What's going on? What's going on? We're going to fire. So, Ameritech didn't sign. Wait, why not? Well, besides the fact the smoke alarm went off before they could sign, someone thought it'd be a good idea to stab our biggest prospects with an EpiPen, Geronimo. How am I supposed to know which one was having an allergic reaction? No one was having an allergic reaction. They were coughing from the smoke. I will not apologize for my fatherly instincts. Oh, Christ. Well, fortunately, the only thing that burned, besides maybe the biggest deal of the year, was the kitchen. So, no snacks on the sales floor for a few weeks. Motherfuck! 
Did they say what specifically happened? No, I don't know, but I'm going to talk to the firemen, see if I can find out. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I bet someone from marketing did it. It wouldn't surprise me. Probably the most impactful thing marketing's ever done, am I right? Yeah. <laughs> they totally screwed over Katie. I vote we ambush one of them in the bathroom and beat the shit out of them. Really send a message, huh? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm down. Jesus Christ, just, Chris. Just a thought. <clears throat> well, thank you. What's the word, boss? So, what I'm about to tell you might shock you from its sheer stupidity, but apparently someone tried to bake cookies in the break room and forgot to take them out of the oven. What? I love cookies. I don't even know why we have an oven. But anyway, I mean, the firemen said it's safe, but they wouldn't suggest anyone go back in until tomorrow. So we get to go home? Absolutely not. We still have work to do. Hey, team, let's phone anyone's. Firefighters found it with a timer going off on it. Yeah. Whoa, mom is calling, and mom is a MILF. <laughs> As a respected married man, oh my. <laughs> yeah, we, we probably shouldn't answer somebody else's phone. Common courtesy. <laughs> answer it, answer it. I want to hear a voice. How'd it go with the cookie? Chris? Are you there? Chrissy? Holy shit. Chris, do you have any idea what you've done? You just cost us the biggest deal of the fiscal. You have one quarter to fix this or you are gone. Do I make myself clear? Dude, I had no idea your mom was such a milf. <laughs> She's still, yeah, you, you got it. Good first day, buddy. God damn it, mom. You little bitch. I'm not in the mood, Raj. I'm not in the mood either, Chris. Cookies? Really? All this was your fault. <laughs> I know. I'm going to have to move back in with my parents. Oh, you little baby with the poopy diaper. <laughs> I used to be number one. I was the man, Raj. Get up. You're embarrassing us. <sighs> I don't want to have to move back in with my parents. <coughs> Chris, how big is your dick? I don't know, it's cold today. No, Chris, I want you to tell me how big it is. Five inches. Five and a half inches. You're right. Come on, come on. Let's go and show everyone how big it is. Okay. Come on. Okay. Um, I have an extra coupon for bone broth. Do you, do you want it? I would very much like this, Chris. Thank you. You're my best friend at work, Raj. Am I your best friend? Raj? Raj. I just took a DNA test, turns out I'm 100% that bitch. Even when I'm crying crazy, yeah.